Hi everyone, welcome back. I hope you're all okay. Right, today I'm going to look at your person's thoughts and feelings towards you. What they're thinking, what they're feeling. Let's see what we can get. Okay. Right, obstacles. Okay. I feel today that your person's worried about something, an obstacle, but I feel more, they're more worried about you for some reason, okay? I feel that they are regretting making it difficult for you to almost regain some stability after you separated, all right? They've, they've definitely, when you separated here, they definitely put massive blockages in your way. They, they made things very, very difficult where they didn't have to be so difficult. I think your person's actually waking up to how difficult they made it. And now they're worried. I just get that they're worried about you. So I'm going to have a look at whether they're worried because they're genuinely worried or whether they're just worried something's going to come out or is it a legal issue or are they just jealous? Okay, so then let's have a look. I'll just give this a good shuffle. Just while shuffling now, if you would like a reading, just click on the title. It's all in the description box and the free relationship report. And if you like this content, if you wouldn't mind subscribing and liking, that would be brilliant as well. That's too many cards peeling. Okay, let's see. Why are they worried? What are they, what's going on here? Thoughts and feelings, please. Definitely, Ten of Cups challenge. It's, it's definitely got something to do with the family. Okay, um, there's a family situation here that they are feeling worried for you about, but I feel it's because they know they put too many obstacles in the way and there was too many challenges for you to almost sort this out amicably. I also feel that they're insecure, all right? I think they see you overcoming these challenges, almost like you're moving away. For those of you who actually might be making a physical move or are contemplating it in the future, I do see that happening for you. And tying it into this energy, I feel your person will then have a massive wake-up call. They will definitely be worried about you because you moving away from them is actually going to really trigger them. I feel they're very insecure, okay? I'm dealing today with an energy of someone who is very stubborn, very resistant, almost immovable. And at times, it's almost like they set traps for you to fall into so that they could do what they wanted to do. But you've navigated these traps, you kind of got through these challenges. They put one block after another in front of you. It wasn't just that they, they left or you separated or what happened in your story today. They just kept blocking any sort of decent energy to sort it out properly. Okay, what else have we got, please? Yeah, they're still stuck on you. Okay. I think there's a little bit of jealousy going on here. You know, I think that they put all these blocks up and made it really difficult, possibly didn't give you closure. But now you've pulled yourself out or you're pulling yourself out. And especially if you're thinking of moving or you're going to move, they are now feeling very almost down on their look, very, very stuck. And I think they are worried in the way that they are a little bit jealous. Okay, I just feel jealous. Yeah, somebody here is moving. Okay, somebody I'm really, you know, who's watching this today is planning a move, all right? And that is going to trigger your person's insecurities. It's all, you know, it's almost that energy of, I feel today, that somebody here has been back and forth in this relationship, okay? That it's been in and out, up and down. You know, good days, bad days. It ends, it reconciles, and it just keeps going round and round in a circle. 
I feel that you've been very empathetic and very kind and possibly taken this person back or you've always been willing to listen to them. I honestly feel today, specifically, that this person always, at the back of their mind, knew you'd be there to pick up the pieces for them in some shape or form. And there's nothing wrong with picking up the pieces for people because that's what you do when you're kind and compassionate, you care. You think, oh gosh, okay, well, I'll, I'll give you a hand, I'll help you out, okay? I feel you've done that for this person, but you're moving on and this worries them. Okay, and I think that the thing I'm getting worried about you is because it's triggering their, their insecurity. Okay, let's see what else is going on in their environment, please. What's going on in their environment? Yeah, bad health. They might not be feeling too good. Bad health doesn't mean that, you know, somebody's really, really ill. It's a card of, yeah, not feeling yourself, not being in a good place. Um, their energies come out, um, Wheel of Fortune reverse. So they are feeling very, very stuck. They're a little bit down on their look. Things aren't working out, but you, your energy, eight of wands, you're moving on, you're flying. You could even be getting a new offer in for something, okay, out of the blue, could be a new person, could be a new job, but there's something shifting in your life, always going to shift in the very near future that's going to trigger your person. Okay. Yeah. The thought of you, okay... This is so, I sometimes even, I, I say even now, it's so spooky how these cars come out. The thought of you moving on, relocating, okay, absolutely makes them feel really ill. Okay, it makes them ill. I think they would come forward and say it's because they're worried about you. Yeah, they are worried about you. They're worried the fact that you have stepped back into your power. Okay, specifically though, there could be some of you that your, your person is specifically and genuinely worried if there is any ill health in a family. Okay, though there is an energy here of somebody being concerned about ill health in a family but I feel today that if that energy is for you that you didn't get the support that you needed when you needed it if you've been taking care of somebody else or you've had other people to take care of your person didn't really step up to the plate you know you had enough challenges going on and they weren't always very supportive and some of them could have been a player you know they they just they just weren't a rock for you okay they weren't a rock for you but they are worried that you're moving and that they won't be able to almost get out they're worried that they won't be able to get hold of you and i'm getting this really specifically even if you're just not talking it's almost like there has been a pattern of somebody knowing that somebody will always go back or that they're always there, or, or I can, oh, I can pick the phone up. Yeah, they'll answer. All right, this is worrying them. This is worrying them. Let's see what else. The environment. Three more, please. I think you know if you are change. I think if you are moving on, or you are finding things a little bit easier now um this person who you know especially when they find out about some success you've got or you've got coming in it's going to trigger them and they're going to come back in and say that you're the one you're the soulmate okay they're going to open up and they're going to show your emotions but i do specifically again see this when you actually make a jump towards something else and today I am really honestly getting um, a big change in the physical here. That's what's going to trigger this person. 
okay? In their environment at the moment, they're very confused about something. Let's just see what else is going on in this person's environment, please. Yeah, I've got here um, a fire sign that's very confused. Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. They're looking back at the past. Definitely looking back at the support they didn't give you. Okay, because there has been problems in a family here. There could have been just problems with arguing and stuff. Or they didn't support you with some family issues you were having. They're looking back at that now. Okay, what else is going on in the environment? They're not too good, you know, they're very tired. Um, they've almost... I think they're feeling the weight of what happened in the past now hanging over them. All right, they are looking back at what happened, and they are they are feeling very very tired, pretty isolated. They don't have a lot of energy. All right, like I said, I've specifically got a lot of fire energy here. This is somebody who's normally quite confident, quite bubbly, quite oh yeah, we'll do this, we'll do this, we'll go here, we'll do that. You know, they they have a plan and they're off. All right, but at the moment, I'm not feeling your person's like this. I feel they're very tired. They're stuck. They are very, very stuck. Here in the future, gosh, they're still... There is the distance thing here. They're still optimistic at some point that you could get back together or have some conversations with each other. All right, that's what they're almost dreaming about. But I, again, it, it's somebody here today that's watching this who's going to make some move. Even if you're not, it's not happening at the moment. If you're thinking about it with this card, I can see you manifesting it in. You know, what you think about, you predominantly get back into your 3D. I can see you bringing something in. This is going to be a massive massive trigger but at the moment where they are they are tired um it's like they at times they can be a firework you know those catherine wheels and they go round and round in the fizzing you see a catherine wheel and then and then, then the catherine wheel just drops to the floor they've burnt themselves out okay mentally they are exhausted with where they are at the moment they do think about you they do think about you, but why? I just, it's just this worrying bit. Are they genuine? Is this person genuine, please? Are they genuine? Are they genuine? you I think they are going to be jealous of some success okay there is a period of success either in your life or coming into your life um, they are going to find out or know that you're doing better than you were that you now have the support network around you people are helping you um, if you are actually starting a business or you've got some sort of career where you've been juggling that is going to end things are going to work out for you with regard to their genuineness two of pentacles for me in love means juggling to be honest with you not always third party but somebody is not paying enough attention okay whether they're giving their attention to the wrong things it's almost like your person does have an energy of somebody who will start a project um, but instead of paying attention to the things that really need to be done for it to grow they're, they're too busy focusing on, on something else that gives them more pleasure. All right. I think they are envious of you at the moment. I do, I do see them being envious. I think somebody with this card has been watching your life improve whether that's on social media or they've heard something, but they have been watching your life improve. 
I think financially your person at the moment is is a balancing act. Going back into their anxiety and their worries, I feel that they're it's sort of a balancing act trying to keep things in the physical, stable, money, whatever's going on in their physical reality. I do feel this person will come back in at some point. Um, I know some days it's hard to sound like a stuck record, but I have got the Knight of Wands coming out here in the in the future. So that there is a really strong possibility that an ex person will come back in. But this I'm, I'm channeling back now to what I felt earlier that this has been a cycle that's happened before. Okay, they come in and then they leave again. All right. If you have started to do really well, um, I would just be a little bit aware of the fact that I think this person is jealous of some of some of your success right now. And if they haven't showed that yet, um, I feel I feel that energy will come out. Okay, let's just have a look at these. Let's see what these got to say. I can't express myself. I can't let go of you. No, <clears throat> I can't let go of you. That That's what I felt earlier, that they can't let go of you. It's almost like, and this might sound a bit blunt, but it's what's coming through, that if they know, even if they're not with you, it's almost like, well, <clears throat> I don't want to give you the commitment, I don't want to be with you, but don't you dare move on and be successful without me because that really worries me. That's what, <clears throat> excuse me, today is coming through as, you know, it's almost like this is a person who always needs a backup plan, all right? So this might not be your reading today, I always say that, don't try and make it fit. This is somebody who always, always seems to have a backup plan. So they could be with somebody, but they're always talk, either, t I'm not saying they've got a third party, but they're always talking to somebody else, or they're always thinking, well, maybe I could do this, or maybe I could, I could do that, okay? But the moment they feel your energy pulling back, or maybe you meeting somebody new, or just they see some pictures of you that you're actually you know, having a nice time or you're doing something for yourself now, they don't like that. And then they start to worry. Okay? They start to worry. I don't know, it's not really very positive energy. It's not very positive in the fact that I, I do just get that they, they're more worried about the fact that <clears throat> they could lose you. Okay? You know, I don't want to be with you I'm not willing to step up to the mark. I'm not willing to put in the effort, especially if you were dealing with family issues. They weren't supportive with something. They weren't there for you. Okay, they were not there for you. But, you know, I just need to know that you're there. Okay. Let's get some advice for you, please. Yeah, you're being asked, this isn't love, you know. This 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 advice isn't love. It's, but it's tied into the reading because it's something to do with your next stage in life and your success and what you're building upon. Keep going. The reason it's tied in is because this is what will trigger your, your person. Okay. You are being asked to hold your vision. If you are in contact with this person or they make contact, contemplate. You know, think about what has happened in the past. Okay, if you are waiting to do something in your life and you're not sure, whatever it is today, it's general this, take the first move, be bold, hold your vision, it will work out for you. Okay, it will work out for you. But like I say, I feel it's very much tied into your person because you are going to have something that they want or that they're jealous of. There are people like that, you know, unfortunately. 
in the world who who don't always want us but the moment you know you go and do something for yourself I've seen so many times with clients and you know readings and stuff I've done over the years the moment you go and do something for yourself and you you want you know get over all the obstacles that they've thrown at you and all the shit they've caused then they want back in okay it's almost like a game and then you know definitely with this uh, tarot cards I've got out here uh, it's just like a cycle but it's a game it, it's a game but I think you've had enough of the games you've had enough yeah personal powerful growth you are if you're not in it yet you will come into it just believe in yourself ignore what's going on out here okay just believe in it it will come it's your personal growth that's going to make them worry yeah, you've got a lot of growth here, really, really have. This card, as an advice card, is almost saying to you, yeah, be bold now, make the first move, go for it, you're growing. And also, for me, this can mean that somebody, a wise person, or you're going to have help from a friend, or maybe a spiritual community, there's something that's going to help your growth come in here. But you are being told very, very strongly that this growth, this could be the uh, the physical house move, the distance, the travelling. You're going to do something completely different, you know. You're going to be doing something completely different. And this is going to really shock your person. Okay, because in the past you were always so helpful, so kind, so caring, so compassionate at helping them with their problems and also being really reasonable during possibly a separation. Always willing to see both perspectives. But I think you're just getting on with your stuff now. And this is, the, like I say, I'm banging on about it, but that's the trigger. You're not... You're not that person anymore that they left. You're not that person anymore. Yeah, you're healing. It's your healing. You've been working so hard. It's working. It's coming. If, you know, you will have days where you just think, oh, you know, I can't do this anymore. This is just crazy. Whatever's going on, it is coming. Hold on in there. Yeah, there we go. Final card. Time for change. To learn something new with wisdom you've got a massive change before I wrap this up honestly if you are thinking about starting anything whatever it is it could just even be volunteering to do something whatever it is that is going to be a way into something that is going to change certain parts of your life and you'll look back as we all do and think gosh I remember that moment when it changed and then you know, your bridge of incidences, you go over that and things just work out for you. But your past person will come in or at some point you will hear from them to say, I'm worried about you. And I feel today, honestly, if you've been in an in-out, circular, up and down relationship, then I feel the main trigger is their jealousy. But you know something... It's because you were the strong one all along. It was always you that had the strength. It was always you that were the strong one. Yeah, I feel today that the person left you feeling very weak, very vulnerable, all of that, okay? But you were the strong one, okay? And that strength is coming back. So anyway, I hope that's helped someone today. Take good care of yourselves and always, always, always believe in yourself. Okay? It's not always easy. You've been in a relationship or you've had a relationship where, you know, someone's constantly putting you down and gaslighting and in the end you really don't know your own mind. Um, and it's not something you can just get out of in two, three weeks. It can take years. Okay, but you've been doing the healing. Okay? And if you have bad days, keep going. Just remember, you're amazing. Okay? Love you loads. Bye.